Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Extrude, Revolve, Hold, Create an Offset Plane, and Fillet. So open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we will select the front plane and make this sketch. And here will be the midpoint. And the first thing that we'll make, we'll create a line here in the center with 78 millimeters, okay? Then we will create this arc with 20 millimeters of radius. And create this arc here with 40 millimeters of radius and create a line here. And this line must be tangent with the both arcs, okay? So let's create this. Go to create a sketch and select the front plane, select a line, make a line here with 78 millimeters. And go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point and this point here is 20 millimeters. And go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, select this point and this point here, okay? Now go to create, select arc, three point arc, make an arc here with 14 millimeters of radius. And go to constraints, coincident, select this point and this line here. Make a line here and make an arc here, okay? And go to constraint, select tangent, make this line tangent with the both arcs. And go to constraints, coincident, select this point here and the midpoint. And the radius here is 20 millimeters, okay? We made this. Finish the sketch, go to Revolve, the axis, select this line here and press OK. We made this body here, OK. Now, we will make this cut here in the right plane. So, the distance here is 15 millimeters and the distance between this edge here and the midpoint is 18 millimeters, OK. So let's create this, go to create a sketch and select the right plane, go to create, project include, project, selection filter, select the bodies, select this body here and press OK. I will hide this body a little bit. Select the two point rectangle, make a rectangle here, OK, go to sketch dimension, 15 millimeters here and the distance here is 7.5. And the distance between this line and the midpoint is 18 millimeters. And go to constraint, select tangent, select this line and this arc here. Okay. We have this profile. Finish the sketch and go to extrude. Show the body one. The direction here, select symmetric, the extended type, all. Operation cut and press OK. We made this cut here. Okay. Now, in the right side here, we'll make a hole here, M10X1, okay? So, it is in the center here. So, go to create, select the hole, select this space here, and select the midpoint here, okay? Or you can select the arc to make this quite centric. And... The extend here, select all, the holy type, simple, the holy tape type, select tape it, the size, 10 millimeters, designation, M10X1. I will select model ad here and press OK. We made this. Let me show for you. OK. Now, in the left side, we'll make this cut here. We have a cut here with 11 millimeters of diameter uh, by 7 millimeters. And here, we have a cut here with 18 millimeters, 0.5 of diameter, okay? So, the first thing that we make here, we'll create a new plane. And select the offset plane, select the front plane here, minus 20 millimeters. Okay. 
go to create select hole select this face here and here select this arc to make this quite centric and here the whole type select counter body the whole tape type select simple drill point flat the length here 20 millimeters the diameter here 18.5 and the distance here 5.5 and the diameter here is 11 millimeters okay we will make this the the distance 5.5 here is because because here is the midpoint and the distance between this point here and the new plane is 20 millimeters okay 20 millimeters the distance here and the distance between this point and this face here is 7.5 millimeters okay 7.5 plus 7 is 14.5 20 minus 14.5 will be 5.5, okay? Press OK here. We made this. Hide the, the plane here. Go to measure. Select this edge here and this edge here. The distance here is 7 millimeters, okay? The diameter, 11 millimeters. That's correct. Now we'll make this cut here in the body, okay, in the both sides. So to create this, we will select the right plane, go to create a sketch, select the right plane, and go to create, select project included, project, selection filter bodies, select this body here and press OK. I will hide this body a little bit, okay. Now select a line, a construction line, make a construction line here between the center and this arc. Now we will create this line here. Okay. The distance between this line here and the center line is 6 millimeters. And the distance between this line here and the point here is 80 millimeters. Okay. This point is the center of this arc. So select a line, click here in this arc, remove the construction line type, make a line here, sorry here, go to sketch dimension, the distance here 6 millimeters and the distance here 18 millimeters, okay? Now go to create mirror, select this two line here and the mirror line, select this construction line and press OK. We have these two profiles here. So finish the sketch, show the body one. Go to extrude the direction, select the symmetric, extended type, all, operation cut, and press OK. We made this. OK. Now we will create this hole here. This hole has 15 millimeters of diameter. And it is quite centric here with this arc. So go to create, select the hole, select this face here. The hole type simple, hole tape type simple. The extend here, select all. And click here in this arc, make this quite centric. And the diameter here is 15 millimeters of diameter. And press OK. We made this, okay. Now to finish this exercise, we use the fillet. So all fillets here is two millimeters in the yellow edge here, okay. So let's create this. Go to fillet, select this face here, this face here, and this face here. And select this edge, this edge here, this edge here and this edge here, two millimeters, and press OK. We made this. 
Now I will add some color here. Here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see you in the next videos. Bye bye.